Radar charts in Microsoft Excel are perfect for comparing quality of a product, assessing company maturity, or student performance. In this video, you'll learn how to create meaningful radar charts with three practical use cases. We will go over the radar chart basics so we have the best quality in corporate here is IKEA and we have a cheap couch, a leather couch, a super couch and we want to make a choice between one of the three. So what I'll do is I will do a radar chart. If I select all my data and then I go into insert. At the very top under the chart ribbons, you have this one. It's not really obvious. So you click here and then you go to radar charts and then you have three types of radar charts. So very basic here, you have the basic radar chart then you have the one with the marker. So it just adds some bullet points at the end of every lines. And then you have the field radar. I don't like this one because as you can see, it's not very clear. So for this example, let's use the basic radar chart real quick. Here we go. We have a basic radar chart and I will make it a little bit bigger for you guys to see. And I want to show you a few tips. First of all, I don't like where my legend is. Basically, I will click on the little plus here. I will go to legend and I'll just click on the arrow and I will put the legend to the right. This will make my chart look way better. Really quick, I'll change my chart title and I'll show you something that you probably don't know. I will link the title to the name of the company at the top. So I just press on my chart title. I type equal on my keyboard and then I'll select cell B1 in this specific case. And here you go. So as you change the title here, let's say we add ZZZ, it's just linked to your chart title. So now we have a radar chart and we can pretty quickly see that the letter couch in orange is pretty steady at four for every quality. Let's say it like that, but it is very durable. So we can see the orange line is going to number five for durability at the very bottom here. What you could do here in this very specific case, as you can see in my data set, I have nothing that goes below three. So what I could do is actually set my axis here so it goes from three to five. So we will have a clearer view of which couch is actually the best, right? All you have to do is double click on your axis here where you actually see the numbers. Then you have a pane that opens to the right and we are going to change the bounds minimum under the axis option. We are going to set the minimum to two. And for the units, what I would suggest is actually keep major at one and actually put the minor 2.5 and we are going to see the results here. So here we go. We don't have a zero anymore. The maximum value is five. I feel that we can compare them a little bit better. It is clearer for your eyes. What I would suggest after that is maybe change the colors because I don't like Excel default colors. So you can click on the gray line, by example, which is the super couch go into format at the top and under shape outline. I always like to go in more outline colors and put pink. Another thing that I like to do, but it's not really obvious is, it, is to actually add lines here on your radar chart. So you click on your axis once again, and then under the line option, you can click on solid line and look what it's going to do here. It's going to add these five lines up to the middle of the radar chart. Then you can play around with them. You can set the transparency to 50%. If you like to see them less, you can put a different color. Let's put them a little bit black. And then here you go. You have a radar chart that looks a little bit better. If you want to put them dashed, here you go. Your radar chart looks a little bit better once again and see I'm not satisfied I will format my grid lines here and I will put the same kind of color here so I will put it black and I'll put it dashed as well but a little bit smaller all right I think my radar chart looks a little bit clearer here I can put some black everywhere bold on these numbers and bold the legends as well and make sure your radar charts shine 
Example number two, I now have the school, the amazing teachers, and I want to compare them based on different criteria. So we have Piggy Bank, hello, the Excel Geek One, the Chart Maestro, and we actually have six criteria here. In the previous example, we had only five. I wanted to show you that it's possible to have more criteria, and now they don't go up to five, they go up to 10. So you can put whatever numbers you have there, and it's going to actually increase the distance on your radar chart here. The thing I want to show you though is not only we're going to make a radar chart, but we want to compare the different teachers between each other. Let's say you have more than three teachers in this specific example, you might want to have a different chart to compare the teachers. So I am going to actually create another radar chart. So I will show you real quick. You should select your data here, so your criteria, and then you press control key on your keyboard. And then we want to compare with the chart maestro, right? We are going to select the chart maestro as well. We are going to release control, and then we're going to go into insert once again. In here, we are going to insert a radar chart, and I want to insert the radar chart with the markers this time. I will put it side by side, and now we can compare which teacher is the best. Is it the chart maestro? As we can see, it is a gray line on the left chart, and it is a blue line on the right chart. By the way, if you think that Piggy Bank is the best teacher, make sure you sub to this channel. In this third example, I will show you how to showcase data evolution through the years. Yes, it is possible with a radar chart. And by the way, did you know that we call it also a spider chart or a spider web or whatever? Anyways, here you go. We have the Sony Digital 2000, a brand new company. And this is actually inspired from a real client I had, which asked me to do a spider chart in order to see the digital maturity evolution of a client. So we came up with this model here. We have four years, so we have different criteria here, the client experience, the security, the scalability. And as you can see at the chart at the bottom, we start with the year one in blue, the year two in orange, a year three in gray. And we can see really quick that the security by example is going to be at maximum capacity, AKA 10 in this specific case after year four. But what happens if we want to compare different years? You know, we want to add year one and year two or then compare year two or with year four. And I'll show you how to do that with some Excel formula. So now you're going to learn on top of all the reader charts, some Excel knowledge. So let's say I want to compare different data here. We're going to put the compare one and then we are going to add a data list here. So a drop down menu. We're going to go into data at the top and then under data validation. And we are going to allow a list. And for the source, we are going to select our year at the top here. And here we go, we click OK. And then we can select what, whichever year we want. So let's say we want a year one. And then we're going to put some little conditional formatting here real quick. And now we don't want to change the data every time. We will do a quick X lookup, which is one of my favorite formula. There is a video up here that explains everything for X lookup. So I'll go kind of quick on this one. So equal X lookup. I select my lookup value, which is my year. I double press on F4. My lookup array is the line two. I press on F4 once again. And then my return array, I want Excel to send me back the client experience. Here we go. And then I drop down my values. I'll try my drop down. And then if I click on year three, as you can see, all my data becomes the year three data. Pretty simple, right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new chart. So we're going to select our data labels here, press control on your keyboard, and then select my compare data. Here we go. I selected my compare data. And once again, we're going to insert a radar chart. I'll do it real quick. Here we go. We have the year three. And if we want to be like by the book, I will probably set the same color here. So it is gray. So I'll put it gray. 
but we have something a little bit misleading here. As you can see, my axis on the left and on the right are not the same. So my two gray lines from left and right doesn't quite look the same. So what we do, we just make sure that when we show it side by side, we actually have the same axis. So once again, I'll just double click and do like I showed you on the first example, put the minimum to zero and the maximum to 10, and then adjust whatever scales you have for your units. Now let's push this a little bit further. I have my boss ask me, hey Dave, I would like to compare multiple years. How do I do? Super simple. If you follow what I did with my X lookup, I will just take column G here and then copy paste. Boom, call it compare to. Here we go. And then we're going to switch the year. Let's say we want year four. And then I will go click on my right chart here, the year three one. We're going to go into chart design and we are actually going to change the data. So we're going to click on select data and then we are going to add at the bottom left here. We're going to add an entry. So click add. What's the series name? It's going to be H2 in this specific example. And then the series value will be this. Then we click OK. And as you can see here on my right chart, I have my year four in orange and my year three in gray. I can add the legend real quick by clicking on the chart elements and check legend. And here we go. We can play with our drop down menu. Let's say we want to compare year one and then with year three and here we go our chart are basically looking the same left to right but we just can compare two years if you want to compare three four five years you just do the same process here you want to become an excel charts pro there's a link in the description cheers